All right, welcome back everyone. This is going to be part eight here of the all-terrain track chair project and hopefully uh, we're going to do a test drive later this session. So we're getting ready to uh, get things buttoned up here to do that. And one of the things that I have here is the spring tensioners. We talked about them before. I finally got in the longer threaded rods that go on there. This is the parts for the left side. I have the right side on there. They go from this front uh, boogie wheel arm to the back one and they provide preload to force the weight to the center two and what happens is when you air up the air shockers it then pulls on the front and the back one and applies pressure to the middle ones uh, lifting the track up just slightly and makes it easier to turn when a track vehicle turns it is skidding and in this case uh, that skidding takes a lot of uh, effort and force and so by decreasing the amount that it has to skid it makes it turn easier. Uh, conversely, if we lower the air pressure then for better ride comfort, then uh, it makes it harder to turn but easier to go straight. So this gives kind of a best of, uh, of both worlds there. So I've got the parts ready to go on the left side. We'll get that on. Then we'll finish buttoning up here some airlines. I've got these hooked up but not uh, tied down and I've got to get some armor protecting on those so that they don't rub on anything. So we're going to get the, that finished here on the right side and do the same thing on the left side. And then uh, we'll be getting back onto the fuel tanks, get the hoses hooked up there, and we'll be pretty close to ready for a little test drive of testing systems here. So stay tuned. All right, so we're getting real close here where I'm going to take it for a little test spin. I promised that earlier. Gotten a lot of work down here on the suspension, all done. I've uh, been working on the safety bar a little bit. It's hard to see that inside the cockpit there. But we're basically at a point where I want to test some of these systems out with a little bit of movement with it. And uh, so we're going to grab the crane, lift it off of this rear jack stand, and then we'll get to filming with it. Uh, fire up and a little test drive for you guys.
open up here after the test drive. Been mainly working inside the cockpit here. Got the main uh, headlights on up there. They're wired in. I got to do a little bit of wire cleanup yet. Working inside here. Safety bar is all installed with the air cylinders, air lines, air routing. The seat belts, shoulder harness that goes to that. Headrest, shoulder rest pads are in as well. Um, got a couple more wires and the rest of the panel done on this side. So this side of the cockpit is almost complete. There's just an arm left there for the screen for the rear backup. This side is just about done. I've got to do just a little bit of repacking of the hoses there. And then that little side triangle can go on. Uh, then next up, there is an aluminum plate that goes back here to shield all that emergency brake stuff. I got to clear coat that, get that in next. Um, easy lock will go in as well. So those are things left on the to-do list. And then of course the roof will go on, uh, front windshield frame, and then we can start to move into getting the plex on. So getting down there to... Uh, so some of the final things here, as you can see on the back, it's uh, pretty complete. Uh, backup camera, of course, right there. Got that installed. Um, so we're getting, getting, getting down there. So thanks for staying with us on this long, long journey. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time and go from there. Thanks, everybody.